Our trade connections around, across the world have enabled our companies to assess new markets and cutting-edge technology and have created good jobs for Singaporeans. IE Singapore's 2016 internationalization survey shows that our company's overseas revenue grew 4.2% year-on-year, compared to the total revenue growth of 1.3% year-on-year. So going overseas allows us to tap into the higher growth potential of Asia. And when companies internationalize, about 60% of jobs created are PMET jobs. So internationalization also helps us to create jobs for Singaporeans. Ms. Cheryl Chan and Ms. Satyani Supat asked how we can support our companies to tap on overseas opportunities. We can do so in four ways. First, we must continue to leverage our trade agreements. We have a network of 21 free trade agreements with 32 trading partners in multiple regions. These agreements help our companies benefit from tariff savings of over $900 million in 2015. Our trade agreements also lower other barriers to trade. Under the Gulf Cooperation Council or GCC Singapore FTA, there is mutual recognition of halal standards. This means that a product that is halal certified by MUIS does not have to go through additional halal certification processes when it enters the GCC countries. So this provides added certainty for companies which export products to the GCC countries. Ms. Cheryl Chan and Mr. Li Shen also asked what is next for our trade agreements. And Dr. Tan Wu Ming asked how we are working with our regional partners to deepen cooperation on standards. Under the ASEAN Economic Community, ASEAN member states are looking at the harmonization and mutual recognition of standards across a wide range of sectors, including automotives, cosmetics, and medical devices, and aligning them to international standards wherever possible. We are also working with our ASEAN member states to improve trade facilitation through the ASEAN-wide self-certification regime and the ASEAN single window. These initiatives will also reduce the administrative burden and cost to our traders. And we will also press on with our efforts for greater regional connectivity through the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or the RCEP. We will also ensure that our agreements meet our changing business needs, especially in the digital economy. Common trade rules governing e-commerce will promote greater digital connectivity in the region by reducing barriers to e-commerce and improving security of electronic transactions. All this will be introduced and incorporated in our new trade agreements. The second way we can support our companies is by deepening our linkages at the provincial, state, and the city level. We can do so through bilateral platforms and government-to-government -government or G2G projects. In China, Singapore companies have made inroads through our seven provincial business councils. Our third G2G project, the Tongting Connectivity Initiative, will also enable us to engage the provinces in Western China. As provinces and cities within a country will differ in strength and challenges, we also adapt accordingly. For example, the Vietnam Singapore Industrial Park or the VSIP projects are spread across six provinces in Vietnam and cater to the priorities of each province, taking into account the locals' skill sets as well as investors' demand. So Singapore food companies, for example, have set up in VSIP-1 in Bingzheng province in southern Vietnam to cater to the growing middle class and the expanding demand for premium food products. Meanwhile, companies in the electronics, manufacturing and logistics services have set up in VSIP-3 in Bac Neng province in northern Vietnam 
to support the increased presence of consumer electronics multinational companies. We should also deepen our engagements at the city level. For instance, in Indonesia, Bandung and Makassar are keen to incorporate digital solutions in their city development. With IE Singapore's assistance, a Singapore e-government solutions company, Aquaria, set up a software development centre in Bandung and is in discussion with the Bandung City Administration <clears throat> on the provision of e-government services. IE Singapore also signed a memorandum of understanding with Makassar to facilitate Singapore companies in providing smart city solutions and technology. There are also opportunities to be seized in developed markets. Singapore has hosted delegations from the US states like Texas, Alabama and Washington, all of whom have been eager to find new markets for their exports and welcome new investments. At the same time, there is interest from Singapore companies to invest in the US. For example, AC Global Energy acquired technology from their US partner to convert pine wood to green diesel, biochar and wood vinegar. They currently operate a biodiesel plant in Tennessee and are looking to build another plant in Alabama. So working closely with our economic agencies, we will identify mutually beneficial partnerships at the state level. <clears throat> 